Hey everybody, it's Boys with the Most Toys with you again today. And I guess I got carried away last week with the making my first cone head Seeker Jet. So I decided to make a second one because I have lots of blue. Um, so here he is, G1 Seeker uh, Dirge. So he's similar to the last one. Of course, the wings are different. Let's take a quick look at that. He has wings just like the original toy. Um, they'll break off in two pieces. My influence for this one was actually uh, the Generations uh, dirge that just came out the last couple months. Um, so that's where this inspiration came from. So he's a little more streamlined than the Ramjet model you may have seen in the past. And But there are a lot of similarities. Uh, new, new things, he's actually a cone head. You can actually see the Lego um, booster rocket or whatever uh, cone, rocket cone as the nose now. The wings obviously different, and if you look at the laser cannons, which you'll see later in robot mode, they are more like the Generations version Seeker Jets, uh, instead of a, another big bomb. Alright, so since we've seen the other guy, let's get to transformations pretty much the same. Uh, the wings will break off in two sections, but I'll show you that in a second. So let's get this glass out of the way here, and let's set them up just like the other guy. So you can see... Here's his nice robot mode, so get the legs out and let's get let's get with the program. So the first thing we want to do, just like the other guys, is we want to um, move out these wings and unclamp the arms. So the pegs hold two different purposes. They hold on to the hands in jet mode, so that kind of happened by accident, but it was cool. So the hands kind of lock into there, so they are, they're nice and sturdy in jet mode. And then those pins, of course, lock in these legs so they can come out um, a little farther. So you want to take these wings. The first thing you want to do, uh, you can see here they are connected. Sorry, you can see here they are connected top and bottom. So we want to, um, my big hands are getting in the way here, but we want to basically unconnect them because they are in two parts like the generations figure so again on this side let's just do it for you we just want to kind of wiggle them loose at these slope pieces okay so like that okay the next thing we want to do is get the legs separated and then we want to pull out as you've seen in all my other secret jets we want to pull out all the pins so for some reason that's really tight today but let's get the wings out of the way so this just makes for an easier transformation pull out the pins top bottom hear the click so here same thing top there we go oh that one is really really tough today but that's good it means he's nice and sturdy okay so then we want to drop the legs down into the new position which will be about uh, wiggle it. Oh, it's going to be difficult today. There we go. Okay, lock them in. And same with the other side. Get them loose. And we want to lock them in about there. Okay. So let's get them turned around. And if you saw the other video on Ramjet, pretty much the same. So let me back up. We can't really see the head. That was a problem with these cone head guys. They're way too tall. Um, but they do end up, when they're transformed, being the same size as my other ones. So let's get these wings on the legs out. Next thing you want to do, get these arms out however you want. But let's bring the camera up so you can see the top transformation here okay so what we want to do like the old one but this is slightly modified you want to push back these um, intakes pull the whole unit up twist it 180 degrees then as well you want to start dropping that back down and you just have to push that out of the way you want to then twist the head around it's on a ball joint so you can make it nice and however you want so drop it in and then you just want to rotate these hands and these rockets or these shoulder launchers however you want you can also back out the top wings a bit they're also on ratchet joints makes it easier for posability you can get them out of the way and then you can set this guy up 
however you like. Again, set the arms up however you like. And then same with the other side. So rotate the hand, rotate the uh, rocket launcher or laser cannon, whatever you want to call it. And I'll back him up here. And you're going to see there he is. Oops. Can't get a good frame shot here. Okay, there. Well, there's the mug, the cup. But yeah, so you can see almost like the other one. I did modify the. Uh, you can see the engines, or there's a little blue thing in there. That's a little different. The cockpit's a little different. Legs are the same as most of my secret designs, and you can see the wings break in two pieces. Oh, sorry. We got to put these intakes back up. I'm just ratchet them up. Okay. So there he is my second g1 conehead seeker and this guy is dirge so thanks for watching i hope you were inspired hope this inspires to build your own seeker jet and or your other or any other lego transformers that you may think of and uh, happy building we'll talk to you soon